everybody it's me will and today i'm gonna react to my old photos as me as a kid basically as a girl and this is okay i'm like old because even though i'm 37 and a half i don't look it but um that i don't know how to edit or put pictures into a video so I have the pictures right here and I'm just gonna show them up against the camera and against my phone camera and do it that way now this group of photos is some is of me as a baby and it's kind of like in chronological order by age. Um, not every single picture I've ever had taken, but um, pretty close to it almost. But it's not a lot. And then, and then in this, um, oh, it already says it on the back, skydiving. Yes, I actually went skydiving and I have some pictures. And this will show just how big my chest used to be. It was huge. Okay. I'm I'm about five, six months in this picture. This is before my open heart surgery when I was a baby. And this rocking chair, we still have. It's in the living room right now. And this is my mom. She's a lot younger. She's like 30, 36. She's 36 in this picture. And then here's me. We lived, we were stationed, my dad was in the military and he was stationed in Stuttgart, Germany for about three years and so so I was called Schudmachen Schudmachen something like that um which means pretty little girl in German but they really like my dad took me into a pub and he had me with him and I had blonde hair and blue eyes and basically I was passed around I was like two at the time and I was they somebody picked me up and they just started passing me around and it, I don't remember that because I think if I did that would be a very terrifying memory so I'm glad I don't remember here's a picture of me when I was a little kid I haven't lost my baby face. I was telling my mom that earlier today and I'm like, I haven't really lost my baby face. Maybe that's why I look younger than I am. Okay. Now, since I was born with three holes in my heart, the doctor told my parents that there would be global delays. Meaning walking, talking, potty training would take a little longer and so this is a picture of me at, when I was four at Christmas in 1986 taking a nap right by the Christmas tree and yes I'm wearing a diaper because global delays and it took me a while to potty train and this this right here my dad got me for Christmas he went out Christmas Eve and got it he was like a Christmas Eve shopper for all of his Christmas presents um, and I didn't know exactly what that what that thing was so my brother Casey said it's a heffalump you know from like Winnie the Pooh where heffalumps are supposed to be like super scary 
So I really thought it was a heffalump. And I'm like, how could my dad get me a heffalump? You know, if that's what it really, if that's what one looked like. So it, it was a very confusing Christmas. Okay. Now, in this picture, you can tell I'm very happy wearing a dress. Yeah, right. That's enough of that. This picture, I'm in brownies. I'm the one right there holding the flag. The Colorado flag. Okay. This is a picture from when we lived in Tennessee. And I am surrounded by two puppies. And I still, in this picture, I look like a boy with long hair. See? And at the time before puberty, I really thought I was a boy. Just that my penis hadn't grown yet. I thought that happened during puberty. That's what I thought. This is a picture of me, I think, in fifth grade, fifth or sixth grade. And this was my favorite shirt. It was a Colorado Rocky shirt, but it had Bugs Bunny on it. And I wore it all the time. There, I look like a boy, a very skinny boy. And I'm trying to get skinny again. Weight loss update. I just the other day I weighed myself and I weighed 232, meaning I gained some weight. But I weighed myself this morning. I'm at 228. I've lost four pounds since the other day, and that's pretty much amazing. Here I was in sixth grade and I was going to a private school in Tennessee. Uh, yeah, it was it was run by two gay ladies, two ladies that were obviously lesbians. And this is when I went to go see the Budweiser Clydesdales. Yeah, there's me. Yeah, I look really happy in this picture. This is my seventh grade picture when I was living in Minnesota. As you can see, no double chin, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but um, there I'm wearing a sports bra. I didn't have much breast growth at that point because I was still really skinny. And I was sporting a mullet for a long, for years, actually. This is my eighth grade school picture. Yeah, I look real happy. Okay, these next few pictures are from when I worked at Disney World back in 2004. And I was working through with a college internship. And um, so it, it was really fun. Here's me taking a picture in the mirror. And you see that Donald Duck shirt? There I am with sleeves. And here's the same... Donald Duck shirt without sleeves. This shirt is 16 years old. It has holes in it. It needs to be sewn up, but you gotta see the back. Donald Duck's butt. So, this 
is like one of my most favorite shirts and I'm going to wear it till it's paper, paper thin and literally falls off me. This is what my bedroom looked like in the apartment. Yeah, those are pink sheets, but they had Snoopy on them. This was one of my roommate's TV. This was a roommate of mine's TV. It's one of those dual VHS DVD players type TVs in our living room. And this is a picture of our kitchen. Hi, Charlie. He's uh, burrowing under Scooby-Doo. We have a stuffed Scooby and he's burrowing. Charlie. Hi. <laughs> So if you hear him growling, he's burrowing. Okay, this is a picture, kind of a blurry picture, but a picture nonetheless of my Walt Disney World ID. And this was a picture of my ID for my apartment building. Here are some pictures of me with some Disney characters. As you can see, you can't really tell in this picture, but my boobs were kind of big because I was putting on weight. I really, I when I went down there, I was 190 and I weighed 190 and when I came back, I was in the 220s. with Max and Goofy. Me with Winnie the Pooh. And me with Eeyore. And that is all those pictures. Now, some skydiving pictures. I'm not going to show you all of them because it's, it's a lot. But um, here I am out of the plane. I, it was a tandem jump. There was no way I was going to jump um, by myself. Here we are free falling. What a tandem jump is, is that an instructor is strapped to you. What was hanging me on to him, that the only way I was attached to him was by four carabiners, like four hook clips, basically. So, and once the parachute went, went up, came out, he unhooked the two bottom, um, the two bottom, he unclipped the, the two bottom ones. So there was only two carabiners holding me to this instructor. And the whole time I was praying so hard to be like, please, please hang on. <laughs> Here you can see that my boobs were huge. And the stupid fly suit didn't even fit me. They had to, they had to safety pin it because it zipped up here, but down here it the zipper broke and spread apart. Here's when the parachute went out. And 
and my dad paid for paid for it for me to skydive and it was his idea for me to skydive and he paid for pictures and video and the guy who was doing the pictures and video fell asleep in the plane and the plane was loud and I swear I swear to God I'm not joking there was duct tape holding the door on we were flying with a duct taped door it was freaking scary I want to get to some certain ones Here's when we landed. As you can see, the suit split apart. Charlie! Here's me hugging my dad. Charlie, come here. Here's when we left the plane. And that's it. Those are all of the pictures. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any more questions or you want to see any more pictures, let me know.